More than 100 community members and law enforcement officers came together to try to tackle the issue of gangs. There are more than 5,000 active gang members in North Carolina, and the number keeps growing. WNCT's Allie Weatherton explains why attendees at today's symposium say was the biggest takeaway. Allie. Angela, one community member says she started to cry when hearing the youngest gang member was documented seven years old. She says parents need to know the signs and watch their kids. They say once you're in it, you're in it for life, and life is usually death. With more than 1,100 gangs in our state, it's gang important gang. to recognize the signs and symbols. A strong like for a particular color, they start doodling the same thing. You may see that it's odd signs and symbols. Community members and police officers across the east came together in Washington to combat gang violence. It's all part of the Gang Free NC Symposium. Learning basic identification and awareness that's going to go into gang psychology, effective communication, how to talk and interact with these gang members and organizations. Gang Free NC's Michelle Garino says some signs of gang membership include terminology, association with validated members, and involvement in gang related activity. Garino says it's important to pay attention to your children and always watch who they are hanging out with. Lisa Jones says it was emotional to know kids as young as seven are involved in gangs. The young child having the dog paw uh, burned into their skin to identify them as a uh, gang member. Jones works directly with children on a daily basis at her church. She says learning gang signs is crucial. It's been uh, incredibly helpful to me to understand uh, what I'm looking at when I talk to children and it gives me a whole new way to talk to them reaching into a realm that I never knew existed. Organizers hope people realize gangs are not just where they think. They are in your neighborhoods, schools and communities. Organizers say they host about 25 symposiums a year throughout the state. If you think your community would benefit from one, head over to WNCT.com for more details. Allie Weatherton, 9 on your side.